that wonderful time again for the skies to have a spectacular show for us and this friday on 19th of november there's going to be a lunar eclipse it's not quite a total lunar eclipse but it's expected to be spectacular nonetheless and it's one of the longest lunar eclipses since the last 600 years or so and the next time there's going to be one of this kind of length or most over six hours and it is not going to happen again until for another 650 years so that's a long time to wait so you don't want to miss this one so what is it that's really going on so when you were there when you have the sun and you have um, planet earth the trinidad somewhere around there and let's assume that this is the moon so when you have the situation where the sun the earth and moon are all in a straight line the light from the sun is blocked by the earth and it casts a shadow on the moon so you're probably wondering so then why do we see the moon at all during a lunar eclipse shouldn't it just be black well it turns out that earth has an atmosphere around it and when the light from the sun passes through the atmosphere it bends it and that's what strikes the moon anyway and because the longest wavelengths are the ones that pass through the atmosphere which will be red that's why the moon takes on that red hue during a lunar eclipse so do you need any special equipment to observe this event no you just need to go out there enjoy it set your alarm if you're not an early riser the mid eclipse will be um, around 5 a.m in the morning in Trinidad on Friday morning so make sure um, you get up and enjoy this wonderful phenomena a sky show for us and while you're at it keep an eye out for if you see any shooting stars because the Leonid meteor showers are also underway over this time so clear skies to all and have a wonderful time